And um, could I now hand over to uh, Dawn Baxendale, who's our Chief Executive, and uh, who will just give a brief introduction to today's hearings. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this year, we uh, received approximately 2,370 submissions on the Council's long-term plan. This compared to 1,503 in 2018 and 2,997 in 2015. That was obviously a bumper year. I, although this is my first long-term plan, I've been informed that 2015 was the year that the Council received over 1,200 pro forma submissions from the eastern suburbs calling for action, as well as numerous other pro formas around asset sales, inner city parking, Red Cliffs Library and Rafiti Golf Club. Yep. It is encouraging when our citizens feel passionate about their communities and take the time to tell us what they would like to see for the future of our and their city and this year is absolutely no different over the next nine days you will hear from approximately 330 groups and individuals speaking on a range of topics demonstrating the fact that citizens of Christchurch are participating in the local democratic processes this year you know that we have asked more questions in our consultation document than previous years and this has been reflected back in more focused submissions across a comprehensive range of topics that our communities wish to discuss with the Council face to face. Officers processing, pro processing submissions have identified that in general submissions are more extensive and actually more thorough than previous years. All submissions have been sent to our officers for comments on the issues raised and you will continue to be receiving detailed holistic feedback over time. This work will feed into the thematic analysis which you will be using as you go through to your decision making process. But we have also added or will be adding a policy focused analysis on the issues raised too in the submissions and that will help you when you come to be in your decision making part of the budget. So Mayor, I pass back to you to enjoy my first LTP. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I'm pleased for the opening comments. Um, I uh, wrote a, a column for the um, Star last week after I'd started reading uh, some of the submissions and uh, I reflected similarly that uh, several residents associations and groups had undertaken an in-depth analysis of the LTP and highlighted specific items in the capital program they want advanced with clear rationale for the proposed changes. And I talked about the, the numbers of submission that demonstrate in a meaningful way that communities are willing to get involved in the decision making process and that they're willing to work in partnership with the council to achieve our shared goals and reflected how much I was looking forward to hearing the submissions themselves. So I think it does bode well for um, the process that we're about to go through. And on that